Shalom, shalom, family. Topic for today's video is going to be staying hot in faith with the Most High in Christ and why we should stay hot and uh, what does that truly, truly mean. Now, before we get into the lesson, I just want to give all praises to the Most High God and all praises to His only begotten Son, Christ. All right. So the first scripture we're going to pull is in the book of Proverbs, chapter three, and three and verse one. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. So the law of the most high in Christ is to keep his commandments and his commandments are supposed to be embedded in our hearts. And it's important that we keep his commandments if you want to receive salvation, if you want to be delivered up out of this wicked world and into the kingdom of heaven. So I felt like this scripture was really good to pull out first, you know. So um, let me read that again. My son, forget not my law, but let thine heart keep my commandments. So as Israelites that are in this truth, we're supposed to be keeping his commandments day in and day out, night in and night out. You know, we can't be distracted by other things in the world. We got to put this truth and this word first over everything. You know, we can't um, we can't tarry. We can't falter when it comes to uh, these scriptures, when it comes to following the commandments. And with that, I want to go over to, I want to go down to verse five. Trust in the Lord with all thy heart and lean not onto thine own understanding. So sometimes we want to lean to our own understanding and how we feel personally and how we, how we look at certain situations with our own opinions, but the Lord doesn't want us to lean on our own understanding. We're supposed to lean on his word. You know, we're not supposed to we're not supposed to um think out of our own minds and form our own opinions when it comes to dealing with these scriptures. We got to we got to just follow the scriptures as it is written, you know, and just keep it moving, staying hot, you know. We can't we can't be an Israelite in this truth for four out of the seven days of the week. We got to be in this truth, burning on fire. We got to be on fire. Our spirit got to be so hot in this truth. Our spirit got to be on fire. We got to damn near. <laughs> our spirit got to be damn near so bright and so hot. You know what I mean? So uh, with that, I want to go to Colossians. New Testament Colossians Colossians 3 and 23 3 and 23 and whatsoever ye do do it heartily as to the Lord and not unto men so whatever we're doing we got to do it for the Lord and not on to men. All right. So we can't be we can't be um, doing things to please a person. You know, we can't be doing things to please uh, another man or another woman. We're supposed to be doing things to please the Lord <clears throat> wholeheartedly. And um, that's very, very important and key because. We got to stay hot in this faith. The only way we stay hot in this faith, if if we if we're serving the Lord, if we're serving the most high in Christ, you know, and uh, we definitely cannot be serving men. We definitely can cannot be um, giving things to men. You know what I mean? And what I mean by like giving things to men, like giving giving praises to men, like trying to like idolize men. We definitely can't be doing that. We can't put nothing before this word and before the most high in Christ. And um, that's very, very important. 
that's why it's important to go back through the um, previous scriptures that I brought out and really understand them, really read them over again and understand that it's important that we stay hot. We got to be damn near on fire in this truth. So I want to get another preset. going to be Matthew, the book of Matthew 19, 19 and 26. Book of Matthew 19, 26. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, with men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. So Christ said, with men, it can't be done. It's impossible. Whatever you're trying to do, whatever um, what, whatever you need, if you go seek it from men, you're not going to get it. It's impossible. But whatever you need, if you go seek the Most High in Christ, all things are possible. You know, and that's that's a great scripture to end on. Because a lot of our people, we want to trust in other people. And we don't like trusting in the Most High in Christ. Two-thirds of our people is wicked and is going to be destroyed. Because because of um, they want to trust in men. Right? So let's, let's read that again one more time. But Jesus beheld them and said unto them, With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible, right? With men, this is impossible. But with God, all things are possible. All things are possible with the Most High in Christ. That's why we have to be hot in this faith. Because if we're lukewarm, you're gonna, the Most High is not going to be answering your prayers. You know what I mean? If you're lukewarm, he's just going to be like, well, you know, that's why we got to stay hot. Because once we're hot in this faith, once we're hot in this truth, all things are possible, you know. And with that, I just want to close out this little lesson right here. Give all praises to the Most High in Christ and Shalom.